Hey everyone, it is Alyssa from Planned Alyssa and I'm here with this week's What I Sold on Etsy video. It's been another slow week for me um, as far as Etsy goes. I sold, what did I sell? I sold just 10 items this week for a total of $117.50. So again, pretty far short of my $200 sales goal for the week. But in the meantime, stuff's been going well on other, well, on Amazon mostly. I mean, um, I've had a few good weeks in a row on Amazon that really more than make up for my Etsy sales, so I'm not going to complain. Um, selling quite a few merch shirts, um, so, you know, things are going good. It, it's no problem at all. Um, I'm working through my Etsy backlog, trying to get caught up on stuff because I've just got so much stuff piled up here that I have to get listed because you can't make money um, until you list it. So it doesn't do me any good sitting around, but uh, getting through that little by little. In the meantime, here are the 10 different items that I sold this week. Uh, keep in mind that the price you see is just the selling price of the item, so that doesn't include any shipping fees that are paid by the buyer or any fees I paid to Etsy or to purchase the item. But here is what sold this week. So once again I sold some more of these vintage matches. It's a lot of different matchbooks with the matches still in it. Uh, this one was 20 different ones from different international spots. Uh, this lot sold for $12. As I've said in the past, I think, couple of weeks, I've sold some. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these, like a big giant uh, lot of them at a thrift store, and I've just broken them down into different sets and have been selling them. This is the first set I sold this week. And I sold this vintage flowered scarf for $6. It's a smaller size scarf, not a really big one. Don't remember where this came from. This might come from a rummage sale. Might have come from a thrift store. I really don't remember. Sold this pretty cool copper watering can for $35. Uh, Coprol was the brand on it. Coprol, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's made in Portugal. Uh, this is something that was in my Etsy backlog. I bought this at a thrift store, but like a while ago, I think, like back in the fall, and it's just kind of been sitting there uh, waiting for me to get to it. And I finally did get to it, and it, it's one of those items that sold pretty quickly. Like it sold, um, I'd say, in less than 24 hours of listing it. And then here's some more of these matches. This is the set, second set I sold this week. Again, this sold for $12. Um, this one I think had 19 in the lot. Um, I don't remember. These I think were made from different restaurants, I believe. I was trying to kind of group them together sort of thematically. And then I sold this strawberry shortcake hand mirror. It's a vintage hand mirror, you know, for children. Very small. Uh, sold for $8. I picked this up, I think, at a yard sale. And this vintage postcard sold for $5. It's uh, the Grand Canyon in winter, uh, appropriately enough. And um, I think this was an unused one. I'm not even positive that it was. It's, it's a linen card, uh, tinted style. And do not remember where I picked this one up. I've gotten postcards from all different places, and those I can't keep track of. And then I sold this pretty little vintage stick pin for $6. Um, it's you know strawberries there, like enamel. Um, on this gold metal pin. I think I picked this one up at a thrift, uh, not a thrift store, I'm sorry, a rummage sale. And I sold these vintage glasses for $20. As you can see, they have prescription sunglasses lenses. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I can see the bifocal line there. Uh, prescription, I can't even talk, prescription sunglass lenses in them. I think think the buyer was going to actually just use them as is because they were using them for a costume. And where did I get these? I'm pretty sure these came from a rummage sale back in the fall. Might have come from an auction I went to a while ago because I did pick up a bunch mm. of glasses there. Sorry about that. Somebody just paid for something on eBay. Uh, this is a statuette figurine of two cats. It's carved wood. Sold for $7.50. This was something that got marked down on clearance. It was originally priced at $15. Um, it's not in perfect condition. The one ear on the one kitty is a little damaged there. Um, I think I picked this up at a rummage sale or thrift store. Honestly, I don't remember because um, I have had a long time. But the buyer did send me a nice note and... Um, she has a couple of Siamese cats and she sent me a picture of the two cats and um, it, it looks like this statue, the one picture she has, so it's pretty cute. And then this is just a vintage um, compact, like a, it's got a little mirror in it, sold for $12. And where did I get this? I haven't had it that long, but I can't remember. I think this came from a thrift store. 
um, I'm pretty sure, but not positive. So that's it, everyone. Um, relatively quiet week. We'll see how next week goes. In the meantime, I hope you all have a happy weekend, happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you again soon. Happy selling, everyone.